Salut, Dave Roman here. Welcome to this video in which I'm going to talk to you about Overloud's Mark Studio 2, which is a bass software. It's going to help you create incredible tones with your bass. This software is used as standalone or as a plugin. In this video, we're going to use it as a plugin. I asked my friend David Becker to just record some, some bass grooves that we're going to loop and we're going to alter these recordings with Mark Studio 2 and I'll show you how easy it is to create professional sounding bass tones with the software. For this we'll use Mark Studio 2 as a plugin. I'm going to use this in GarageBand. I'll load up my session and uh, I'll show you how it works. Only two tracks. I have a basic drum track that I created and then David Becker recorded just a, a steady groove over this track. Let's hear how that sounds dry without the Mark Studio 2 and then we'll do something to that sound to make it sound a lot more professional than it does. It's a clean signal without any extra distortion, any clipping, so that's perfect for what we want to do. We're now going to add to that track the Mark Studio 2 plugin. And in GarageBand, this is how you do it. I'm just going to go into the edit section of my track. Every Every digital audio workstation is a little bit different, but you just add a plugin to the track that you're working on, in this case, the bass. The bottom left here, these are the presets, and it comes built in with a lot of really usable presets. As a matter of fact, we used one of these presets for Public Alchemy's album. We tweaked it a little bit, but out of the box, these presets are absolutely fantastic. On the top, you see the amp that you are using, and you can make real-time changes to your amp settings. I have some effects that I can add and I can just click the, the zoom button to make all the effects appear here. I can change the order of these effects if I want, uh, but I don't have to. I can activate an effect, deactivate an effect, and again, all these effects, you can tweak them. Um, just real-time, real-time processing, which is, which is excellent. Right now, I'm just going to deactivate all the, the pedals and I'm going to go back to my amp. This amp section here is going to be um, relevant to the amp model that you chose. And there are several amp models that you can choose. And you can do that with the bottom right section. Here are the six different amp models that are available. These amp models are based on the Mark Bass brand, which is if you're a bass player and you know about good bass tone, you know that Mark Bass is one of the reference out there as far as uh, amps and cabs. You can just change your amp directly and the representation of the amp is very accurate so if you're used to the real amp you won't have any trouble tweaking your sound um, in the software. It's a very good visual representation of what the the real deal is. Uh, once you selected your amp model you can select a cab and there's a certain number of cabs here. The mic model you can choose between these different microphones. Once you have your microphone selected you can decide to place it in the center on the border, far away, near, and uh, you can also, if you want, um, invert the phase of the microphone. On the bottom right, we have a few mixing options. The direct knob allows you to blend in the direct signal of your bass with the process signal. You can um, change the level of the tweeter, um, room ambience. If you have a large room and you wanna, you wanna hear the, the echo in the room, you can do that with this knob. And the rear button is going to basically place a virtual microphone behind your your cab and it's going to record what's happening behind the cab. If it's all the way to the left, it's as if you did not have anything mic'd in the back and all the way to the right, the, the level of that microphone in the back is going to be all the way up. Let's scroll through some of the presets so that you can hear how good they sound out of the box. <laughs> This is a very usable plugin. It's a must for any producer. If you're recording real live bass, this should be on your computer if you're doing uh, studio work or even uh, even demo work. This is going to really enrich your mixes. 
I use it all the time. We've used all this plugin for all the bases in uh, Public Alchemy's uh, new record. And anytime I need to record real bass, the bass is always processed by Mark Studio 2. It also works great with a MIDI track. If, if you have a cheap um, MIDI instrument that you're recording with, you can use Mark Studio 2 to process that MIDI track and it's gonna, it's gonna enrich your sound so much. Thank you so much for watching this video. Check out overload.com for more information on Mark Studio 2 and you can also find out more about their guitar plugin, TH2, which is an excellent guitar modeler software. Check it out. Thanks for watching this. I will see you next time and until then. Thank you.